Right at the outset, I want to thank our sponsor, Ventura Munitions. They make this all possible. Thanks, guys. Hey, guys. Thanks for watching TFB TV today. I'm Joel, and I have the distinct pleasure of talking to you about precision long-range rifles. But before we get into that, let me give you a little background about myself, since you don't really know me. Again, my name is Joel. I own the Precision Rifle Network. Um, I have a law enforcement background, most recently been working in the security consulting field. Um, I have taken courses over the years uh, from, from people like Rob Pincus, uh, from Jim C, who's a top PRS pro, um, companies like Valhalla and Gunworks and k and Precision Rifle Training. What it's done is I hope it gives me a unique perspective uh, about this game of precision long range rifles and competition that I'll be able to bring to you and, uh, and I hope it will be well received. All right guys, before we head out to the range, uh, let's go ahead and talk about the rifle a little bit. I'll give you all the pieces and parts and costs and all those sorts of things, we'll discuss this. I'm gonna talk pretty quick on it though because we got a lot to cover and I also wanna get some shooting in. So let's get rolling. Um, Masterpiece Arms Chassis takes any kind of Remington 700 clone type actions, uh, you name it, this one is a, a defiance action. Um, you've got Surgeon, you've got Bighorn TL3s, you've got Kelbley's Atlas Tactical Actions. Um, all of the different types of custom, custom actions that are based on the Remington 700 will fit into this chassis. Uh, it's got a V-bedding type system, so no additional bedding is required. You just torque it down to the proper specs and it's locked into place. Um, free floats the barrel. These chassis run about $900 to $1,000 depending on where you get them. You might be able to get a used one for a little bit cheaper, but that's the ballpark on them. Completely adjustable for length of pull and comb height. Some of the models have a folding stock back there. Takes your standard AR-15, M16 type grips, so you can change that out to your liking. Uh, no additional bottom metal is required. It, uh, it takes detachable box magazines. Um, You've got AICS or Magpul or, or any of the other ones that are, that are similar in their fit will work right there. Um, you've got a night vision bridge up here if you needed that for, for some tactical application. Uh, you've also got the Arca Swiss channel milled in here. And what that does is it allows me to uh, you know connect this thing directly to my tripod for shooting off a tripod, say for hunting or for tactical applications. It also allows me to slide my bipod uh, depending on my needs and what type of barricade I might find myself having to use, I can, I can get a little bit better, uh, more compact application there. So that is a nice feature. That's the action. Let's move on um, to the, I'm sorry, that is the chassis. Let's move on to the action. So the action is made by Defiance. This is the Defiant Deviant. And what I like most about these uh, is that they are machined out of one solid piece of metal. So whereas some actions may have uh, the top rail that is completely separate and you've got screws up there and you have to make sure you lock tight them in and, and torque them down and check them repeatedly, this is one piece. Same with the, with the uh, recoil lug. Some actions have a pinned recoil lug. I don't know that it makes any difference, to be honest, downrange. I just like it. It's peace of mind that it's all one piece for me. Um, the Defiance actions run about $1,250, and that's par for the course, you know, whether it's any of those other types of actions that I talked about, they're all about the same price. Moving on to the barrel, this is a Hawk Hill, and I've got it chambered in 6.5 Creedmoor. Um, I don't remember the exact contour, I'll find that out and leave it in the description for you below. It has a muzzle brake milled in. Um, you can also get your barrels, a lot of guys just run a threaded uh, barrel, and they'll put brakes on there. Um, you know, standard brakes are something like uh, Area 419 uh, makes an excellent brake. APA makes the little bastard. Um, those brakes, if it's a good brake, should reduce your recoil by about 40%. Um, some a little less, some a little more. But if it doesn't do that, uh, it's probably not found on a, on a custom competition rig. Um, that makes for good fast follow-up shots. You know, recoil mitigation is a huge part of this game, so, so that's an important component. Um, the Hawk Hill barrels, you're looking at probably, uh, you know, $400, $500 for that. Uh, and then you've got, um, you know, your gunsmith uh, fees for, for fitting that to your gun. Um, but love the barrel. Nothing but good things to say about the barrels. They're just hammers. Um, 
Moving on to bipod. This is the Atlas BT-10. These run about $275, and they are uh, very adjustable, highly adjustable. So guys like them for that reason. You've got all kinds of different uh, adjustments as far as the legs are concerned. You can up and down on, on these notches, very easy and quick to manipulate. You've got front and back at 45 degree angles. It's just depending on what kind of barricade you find yourself on. Um, these legs are, are great as far as adjustability. You've got cant built in, and you do have some rotation as well. Uh, again, really nice, really nice bipods. Nothing at all wrong with Harris bipods. They are on a lot of competitors' match rifles as well. I choose the Atlas as well, uh, as a lot of guys do. Uh, moving on to the glass. This is the Leupold Mark V, the new one. Um, they made this, I think, a year ago and introduced it. <clears throat> This one was reintroduced at the 2018 SHOT Show. I saw it out there and fell in love with it. So many great features. Um, I'm not gonna go into all of them. This is a five to 25 um, by 56. Lots of light coming into this guy and whatever coatings they use on, these, uh, on this glass, it's amazing. I would put this scope, even though it's, it's a, it's a $2,000 to $2,500 scope, I would put this up against any scope on the market as far as clarity of glass uh, goes. Um, edge to edge in here, crystal clear. I've, I've experienced no issues with it. And I've been a Leupold fan for a lot of years anyway, so I'm happy to switch back to this. Uh, I have been running um, Night Force. I've been running uh, the Vortex Razor Gen 2s. And um, so far, loving this a little bit better. I do like that it has covered windage turret. I don't have to worry about bumping that and messing with my windage. I hold over uh, in my reticle for all of my windage anyway. I never dial windage, so I like that that's covered. On my elevation turret, I love that this has a big, it's just an oversized button for my, for my uh, my zero stop. I love that I can just mash that thing and turn it. I love the tactile feel of the clicks. I love the audible clicks. Very loud, very tactile. I can feel it. I don't have to look at it all the time. I know what the scope's doing. That button pops back out. Very positive locking. All right, so moving on to the trigger. In here we've got the Trigger Tech Diamond. Um, this trigger is amazing. Uh, just breaks like glass. I know people say that. This one does. It's got zero creep. Um, you will feel nothing until it breaks. And it is, uh, it's fully adjustable from, man, I think it's four ounces uh, up to several pounds. Uh, gosh, I, it's just an amazing trigger. It's so smooth. I've had Calvin Elites from Timney. I've had Rifle Basics triggers. This thing is uh, the best trigger I've ever felt in my life. Uh, I've got mine set to about 14 ounces. And before I get a lot of uh, hate comments down below, um, understand that in the PRS game, the lighter the better. You want as little input from the human as possible into the weapon system. Uh, it just allows for a much more stable shot. So my 14 ounces is actually heavy. Uh, these triggers run about $275, and uh, I couldn't recommend it more highly. Just been very pleased with it. So I think I covered everything on the rifle there. I want to get out and get some shooting done. I want to show you what we kind of go through on some barricades and some un unorthodox positions and, and things like that. I'd love to hear your comments about that uh, later on. But that is the custom competition rig. And if you were doing the math on all these various parts, you probably figured out real quick that you're probably looking around the you know five to eight thousand dollar range um, for a full custom rifle like this. You know, as I said, we're going to get into uh, the entry-level type rifles and the prices of those and, and how they compare to this, hopefully in another video. So stay tuned for that. But right now, let's go ahead and get ourselves out to the range and put this bad boy through its paces. All right, guys, here we are at the range. And um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to run through a typical stage for you. Um, using the rifle that I described to you a little bit, a little bit ago, uh, I'm going to start on this PRS-style barricade. I'm going to do two shots from two different positions at 300 yards. Then I'm going to transition to the culvert here, and I'm going to do two shots at 400 yards. And then I'm going to transition over here to the bench, and I'm going to do two more shots to 600 yards. So that's going to be eight shots total, and uh, we're going to give ourselves 90 seconds to do it. Let's go ahead and see how we do.
All right, guys. Well, there you have it. Um, that is pretty typical of what you're going to find in a precision rifle series competition. You know, at the at the national level, the pro level, or the or the, or the club level. Um, you know, you've got technically four different uh, positions, movement in between each, two shots from each position, 90 seconds to two minutes on the clock. You know, varying distances. This was 300, 400, and and 600 yards. Um, this is what you're going to find if you want to play this game. And uh, I hope this little sight picture here helps you uh, better understand what you're going to get yourself into should you want to shoot into a, uh, a, a competition of this nature. Um, sure appreciate you guys tuning in and, and watching the video today. Hit the like and the subscribe button down below. If you would, please give me some comments. Let me know what you thought or any questions that you might have. I'll be happy to answer those. And uh, tune back in to TFB TV often. We've got lots of content and we sure appreciate your support. Thanks for watching.